Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today is the day that you either bought a WeCreate Lumos and it's not connecting to your computer, you've had it for a while and it's not working in general, or you're looking at getting one and you just wanna know what could go wrong with these machines. We're gonna talk about all the troubleshooting that you can do. All of these are gonna be either easy fixes or easy ways to troubleshoot, and a lot of it's gonna be user-related errors too. Hopefully none of you take offense to that, but uh, if you're new to a, the laser community and you've never used a laser before, or you don't know the steps to troubleshoot with, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. You're never gonna know until somebody tells you, and that's what this video is for here. So with that said, when you first get your unit, let's say it doesn't connect right off the, uh, right the get-go, like there's no power to the unit, there could be two related issues to that. It could either be related to your power supply or the main head of the unit. You're gonna get the unit in a package and the head of the unit will not be connected to the base of the unit. You're gonna to have to take this head, place it in completely flat so the contact points on the bottom of the head of the unit connects to the base of the unit here. If it's not completely flat and it's easy to have it in there at a weird angle where it'll be loose, it'll feel loose, it'll feel weird, and it won't go just into place flat, just lift the whole head of the unit out and place it flat back in there until it's completely flat. Once it's flat, you can use this little tool that comes with it. It's like a little wrench. You can uh, place that wrench on this screw that's on the bottom and tighten it down pretty tight, but not too tight, where it holds that head into the base so those contact points will touch. If those contact points aren't touching, there's gonna be no power to your unit. Um, so make sure that's completely flat, flat, that's step one. When I say the power supply could be step two, that part of the issue right off the bat is some people will say, I got a green light on my power supply and I got it plugged into my a base unit here and it's not doing anything. That could be because those contact points are not touching or there could be something wrong with the power supply or the actual port on the back of this machine. The next thing you can do is take the plug out of the back of the machine and plug it straight into the head of the unit outside of the unit. If it turns on the head of the unit outside of the unit, then you know the port on the base is bad. If it doesn't turn on, then you know the power supply itself is bad. You're gonna have to call WeCreate in both of those scenarios to get either a different power supply or a different port on the base of your base unit. They'll probably send out a different unit in that situation there. Now, we're gonna talk about two other hardware-related issues um, that would be not really an issue, but an easy fix here. So you're gonna to have to use the cable from the unit into your computer on the first setup. You have to use a computer. You cannot use a tablet or a phone to set this unit up for the first time. After you have it set up with a computer, then you can connect it with a phone or tablet, but in my opinion, you're not gonna to wanna to use the software on a phone or tablet anyways. It's very limited, just use a computer. With that said, use the cable that came with it. Do not use a USB extension cord. So a lot of people have been reporting USB extension cords have been causing them issues. Some people, there's no issues with it, but a lot of people have been reporting issues with those USB extension cords. Get rid of them, don't use them. Once you have it connected into your computer, um, you will wanna check your computer specs and you're gonna to have to download the version 3.0.1. This will not work with 3.0.0 or anything earlier. It has to be 3.0.1 for this to work on the Lumos. You can get that right from their software website. It'll show it in the instructions booklet that comes with it. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to check the specs of your computer. If your computer has like a mobile series chip, like an ARMS device, like ARMS Intel, or the Snapdragon AMD, I think AMD sells those, it's not gonna work properly. Um, uh, I've probably nine out of 10 people that I've talked to that has had that chipset, it has not worked for. They recommend an Intel series i5 or higher processor. Um, it works with my i3 processor out in the garage. so. That should be fine, but if you have a standard Intel series chipset, it should be fine. If you have either an ARMS device or the Snapdragon device, which is usually like a mobile chipset, it's just it's not lined up and it's not working properly right now, so hopefully they can do a software upgrade in the future and allow that to work. Just get a different PC that has a more normal chipset that will correct the connection issue. 
Now that we got all of the hardware aspect out of the way, let's talk about software and user related errors. Like I said, this is just easy steps that you can bypass and make on your own. Just like I make um, the issue of inverting stuff wrong all the time. But with that said, these are gonna be super easy. Let's say your camera is not working. A lot of people um, will have this cap and they'll take this tag off for the first time, but they'll put the cap back on without the tag. This cap is so easy to forget about. So I just leave this tag on there. So it's like a giant reminder saying, hey, take this cap off every time, put it on every time. If you take that cap off, your camera is gonna work. You're gonna have the blue and red dot for your manual focus for the dial back here. And that's how you will get both of those back. If you're having issues with either the focus dot not showing up or your camera not showing up, take that cap off. Super easy, but something that you can overlook very easily. Um, and then those two focus points will focus on whatever you have in the unit. So like right now I have this little tin in here. I would just manually adjust those two focus points for the first time. And then I can hit autofocus in the software for my camera to take over and you're good to go. Now, the other issue is people will say that I'm just getting a line when I engrave and it's gonna be the outside line like this. That's because you're doing a line engrave, also known as a score with any other laser company out there. They all call it scores. We create calls it line engrave. So you'll have to look for that in the software. You're gonna have to change that to a fill engrave or also known as an engrave. I can't remember which one it says off the top of my head in the software, but this is a full engrave here. Um, there's also the option to switch that to a cut. So if you wanted to cut the outside edge, that will have to be set to a cut. Another thing that people report is that there's no laser beam at all coming out of the machine. That's because you probably have the software set to one power or no power, or you have the um, image set to ignore. One of those uh, three things are probably going on and you have to either set an, um, an automatic setting that is in the top right corner of your software or a manual setting where you increase the speed and power significantly higher than one because you're gonna have to go much higher than one for most, most materials there. But other than that, I think that covers pretty much everything that people have been um, talking with me for the past month about. I've been working with a lot of people pretty extensively on this. If none of those have solved your issue, and you have a different issue, let me know down in the comments below. I'll try and answer it if I can, but a lot of these you're gonna have to go to support with if none of these have solved your issue. Other than that, I hope you guys found this useful. I hope you guys are enjoying the new Lumos. I sure am, it's super fast. I really enjoy it. If you guys are looking into getting one, I'll put some links down in the description below, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.